Today, I'm going to present our work on learning to regress bodies from images using differentiable semantic rendering. The goal of our work is to estimate a 3D human model from a monocular RGB image. It is hard to estimate 3D human pose and shape for people with clothing, as clothes vary a lot in shape and size. Previous methods like SPIN estimate the 3D human body by employing optimization in the loop with the regressor method. They supervise the method using 2D and 3D key points. Pavlikas et al. use silhouettes and key points in a regression model. Sanfer et al. use weak supervision with normalizing flows. They additionally use part segmentation for supervision. EFT uses an overfitting method to generate pseudo-ground truth for regression methods. They use simple parameters and key points for supervision. As we see, previous methods either use key points, silhouettes, or part segmentation for supervision. Though these supervision cues give reasonable results, they are not accurate. This is because key points do not supervise body shape and segmentations do not match the projected minimally clothed simple body. To address this problem, we introduce semantic information in the form of clothing and minimal clothing. Clothing semantics can be used to supervise simple to lie inside clothing region. And minimal clothing can be used to supervise simple to exactly match the minimal clothing region. So given an image, we use semantic clothing segmentation to obtain minimal clothing and clothing regions. However, to supervise simple with this information, we need to reason about which parts of the simple body model correspond to which clothing label. Hence, we introduce a simple semantic prior that represents a distribution over possible clothing labels for each vertex on the body mesh. Given observed clothing semantics and the simple semantic prior, we use a novel, differentiable semantic rendering loss during training. Let's look at each component. For clothing segmentation, we use an off-the-shelf human parsing model called graphonomy, which gives different clothing types and body parts, resulting in 20 different labels. Now let's look at simple semantic prior. For the simple semantic prior, we use simple fits of thousands of render people scans from the Agora dataset. Given a projected image of a scan, we run graphonomy to get clothing segmentation. To transfer these semantics to simple, we use a texture stealing method to obtain which clothing label belongs to which vertex. We repeat this process for thousands of scans with a variety of pose, shape and camera views. Finally, we use this information to compute the simple semantic prior. For more information, please refer to the paper. Let's look at the full pipeline. Given an image, we obtain the clothing segmentation. This is divided into DSRC and DSRMC. Using scanned human models from render people, we obtain simple semantic prior. We use a network similar to HMR to get initial estimate. We use soft rasterizer as the differentiable renderer in which we use the semantic prior as the texture and the initial simple estimate as the mesh. The differentiable rendering has two components. The clothing component gives three rendered outputs, upper clothes, lower clothes and non-clothing. We use the DSRC loss for supervision. The minimal clothing component outputs the probability of clothing or minimal clothing for each body part. We use DSRMC loss for supervision. Finally, we combine DSRC, DSRMC and standard 2D and 3D losses for training. L2D and L3D loss minimizes the joint loss and the L theta minimizes square error loss of simple parameters. For DSRMC, we use the standard soft IOU loss. For the DSRC loss, we minimize the negative log of the output probability of the rendered vertex. We evaluate our method on three datasets. MPI INF 3D HP, Human 3.6, and 3D PW. We outperform previous methods in 3D PW, Human 3.6, and obtain on par results in MPI INF 3D HP. Here are some qualitative results. The mesh in purple is from EFT, and the one in blue is our DSR method.
As you can see, our method accurately estimates the 3D human shape and pose. Our method outperforms state-of-the-art methods in case of loose clothing. There are two major failure cases, failure due to occlusion and failure due to multi-person. Thank you for your attention. The code and the pre-trained models are available on our project page.